If you're like me and you've been struggling with your dental hygiene routine in the sense of like cavities, in flossing and brushing, I am going to share with you my dental hygiene routine both morning and evening. And hopefully this will help you to get healthier teeth and gums. I've wanted to do this video for so long. I've been mentioning it for so long. I had mild gingivitis for many years and that was because I was not brushing my teeth properly and I wasn't flossing as often as I apparently should. I made a lot of changes in my dental hygiene routine over the years and I finally found a routine that works really well. And in about six months at my next dentist appointment, I am going to see how my cavities are doing up in my mouth and if I'll get the same same stupid comments about my not flossing enough. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my morning dental hygiene routine. And then after that, I'm going to share with you my evening dental hygiene routine where it's a little longer because they add some other things in there that I do not do in the morning. That's just to clear out my mouth after an entire day of porking it. I learned that if you don't take care of your teeth, it can actually get so bad that you can die from like having really, really bad problems. Your teeth are in your head basically. Anything that you have and you don't take care of, it will affect your brain. So I'm telling you, if you haven't started a really good dental hygiene routine and you have a lot of problems like I do, then you really need to start one. This obviously is not for those people who don't really brush, who don't really floss, and yet when they go to the dentist, they have no freaking problems. This is for people who have a lot of problems yet they work so hard at keeping all the problems away. So here's my setup in the bathroom for all my dental stuff. I have a piece of paper towel that my mom actually put over this soap dish. I have my tongue brush here, which I like to put on the side here. A medicine cup that you'll see me use later on at night for mouthwash. I have my water pick thing here. Oh, this is not a dental thing. This is like my eye wash cup. Let's put it in here. And this actually is my fiance's toothbrush head when he comes here. And then over here I have a little pick for the gums. I actually don't use this anymore because it doesn't go in between my teeth. I guess it's more like a gum massager but I haven't used it in years. And this one is to brush my retainers at night because of all the calcium that gets stuck there. This is a retainers cool thing like a little machine. It's battery operated. It came with this little container for your retainers and tablets that clean the retainers. So you would put your retainers in here, put water in here, drop the tablet, close it, turn the machine on with the switch and it would just vibrate and then turn off. But I haven't used this in a really long time and I haven't bought tablets because I actually use vinegar. This is just 100% white vinegar and I got this idea from Google and it works really, really well. I have it underneath the sink. And I also put my cup here that I use. I actually should be using a reusable cup, but my mom bought so many of these like Dixie cups. And we have the dispenser here. So I just put it over there so it can drain and dry overnight. Here I have floss. This is my favorite floss. I've been using that for years. It doesn't get stuck in my teeth. This is the electric toothbrush that my family uses. This I use both day and night night and I found that it just makes my teeth really really clean. I have my manual toothbrush here but I never use it anymore. And over here is my water pick. I will be using this tonight so I'll show you how I use it. I like to put the container here on this soap dish so that it can drain and dry properly which is why I have to put my cup here otherwise I would put it here. I also have my mouthwash here which I use at night. You are supposed to use mouthwash twice a day or at least I know that you're supposed to use this one because it's a whitening one but I don't like to use it during the day and this is kind of expensive and they don't give a lot to you so I just like to use it at night. I have two toothpastes here. That one is my mom's. I have the Sensodyne one which is really good if you have super sensitive teeth like I do. Ever since I used the Crest white strips to whiten my teeth, my teeth have never been the same. So I like to use this in the morning and I'll talk about this toothpaste at night when I use it. All right, so this is my routine. So this is my routine. I take the container for my retainers and I just push the retainers out. And I take the vinegar, just a little bit. 
And then I fill it up with water, just enough to cover the retainers. And I just leave it here until night when I come back to it. And you wanna always use cold water when you're cleaning your retainers. Hot water will definitely ruin it. And this is a little pencil. And this is a little pencil sharpener that my mom used. I think it was mine a long time ago, but we put it here on this soap dish and this holds our toothbrush heads. Well, at least my dad's, mine, and these are my dad's water pick things. This is mine. If you don't know what these are, this is a Steripod. I don't think you need these unless you are living with somebody who doesn't flush with the toilet seat down, all right? Because toilet water splashes very far. Put it on and I take my Sensodyne toothpaste and I missed, it's cool. And then I brush. So the key with using an electric toothbrush is you wanna start on a row of teeth first and dedicate 30 seconds of cleaning that row. The good thing that electric toothbrushes have a timer, there's a built-in timer. So it's not like a manual toothbrush where you're going like this. Electric toothbrushes work for you. So it's keeping the toothbrush on each tooth and really massaging the gums and keeping it there and then just moving it to the next tooth and the next one, then the next one. Normally you would brush your teeth for two minutes. So 30 seconds on this row, 30 seconds on the inside, 30 seconds here, and 30 seconds on the other side. And I used to brush my teeth for four minutes every morning. And that's because I had mild gingivitis and my dental hygienist told me to use the electric toothbrush for one minute instead of three. But I was already running late for work at that time. So I cut it back down to two minutes, went to the dentist, my teeth are fine. So. Anyways, on to brushing. Okay, so that signaled that the two minutes is over. So now I'm gonna rinse my toothbrush head. A tip for rinsing your mouth with water after that is to always use lukewarm water because cold water obviously really shocks our mouth and it really hurts, makes our teeth like feel really, really sensitive. With the toothbrush head, if you do use a Steripod or you do decide to use one, you have to make sure that your toothbrush head is dry before you put it on, otherwise it won't dry properly. So what I do is I have my towel here and I just pinch it into the towel and it's pretty much dry. Another tip for rinsing your mouth is you really want to gargle properly. I'm really lazy with gargling because I just want to get it over with. And sometimes I use too much toothpaste and my whole mouth is on fire. But gargle properly because you obviously want to get all the toothpaste out of your mouth. This is a stainless steel tongue brush, so it will last for a very, very long time. And it has, it's very easy to clean. All you got to do is just rinse this after every Every single use. I use this twice a day and I definitely use this in the morning because of that disgusting morning breath. So you always want to be gentle when you use a tongue cleaner because your tongue has taste buds, it's very sensitive, and you can't actually destroy some of your taste buds if you're really, really aggressive. So I like to start at the back of my tongue, try not to choke myself, which happens a lot, and move forward and spit. And that's it because the water pick container is now fully dry and drained. I'm gonna put my cup here. That's basically it for my morning dental hygiene routine. I'll see you guys at night for my nighttime dental hygiene routine. Also part of my daily dental hygiene routine is flossing after every single meal. And I mentioned this in my favorites video. I will link that in the description box for you to check out if you're interested in knowing what I really loved for the month of May. But because I get cavities quite often, I make Make sure to floss after every single little thing that I eat. In this container that I keep on my desk under here, I have a handheld mirror and over here I have the floss picks. These are the floss picks that I've been using for about two weeks now and I love them. They're very easy for me to use and these are really nice for taking out with me when I go out to eat. So I will literally sit here at my computer desk and after I eat I will hold my handheld mirror here, have a napkin here, and just floss. By the way, if you don't know how to floss correctly, you want to shimmy the floss in between your teeth and make a side-to-side -side motion so that you are ensuring that you're getting all the gunk out. 
and you just want to pull down after that. If you're too aggressive with flossing, that's why the floss gets stuck. I just wipe the food off the floss when there is food on it so that I don't put it back in between another two teeth. And if you're wondering if I go back into the bag and grab more floss picks throughout the day, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am disgustingly cheap and I'm also disgusting. No, I don't. If it gets really, really gross and too thinned out, which kind of happens like right now, I've been using this all day and it's almost one o'clock in the morning then i will change it but most of the time i literally just use the same one i didn't know that's so freaking nasty but i just i'm so cheap okay i'm really really cheap and it saves me from using like literally 10 of these floss picks i do have this floss too it's the manual one but i hated getting my fingers really dirty and smelly and having to go to the bathroom and wash my hands i know it's like so stupid but honestly like sharing my life with you guys Guys, okay, no judgment here. This is why I don't floss in the bathroom at night. So it saves me a step in there I just floss right before I go to the bathroom to brush my teeth at night. It's nighttime Everyone in the house is sleeping. So I have to kind of keep my voice down. Anyway, I just want to show you my Setup here. This is what I do when I know I'm not gonna go to sleep right away I'll just have all of my dental stuff laid out for me So when I go to the bathroom when I'm ready to go to bed. I have it all there. Here's an overview. I have the water pick here. I have my toothbrush and toothpaste ready to go. I already dumped out the water from my retainers and put more water in there. Always want to make sure that your retainers are wet. I have my mouthwash here, my little medicine cup, and my tongue brush. Oh, and this is so crazy, but I actually poked a hole in this paper towel and used the little gum massager here to hold up the paper towel just so the paper towel doesn't get wet when I put stuff back in there. Let's get to doing my dental hygiene routine for the evening. This is the Crest 3D White Whitening Mouthwash. This is my favorite mouthwash. I feel like it really does keep my teeth right and a little bit on the white side. I use a medicine cup to help me measure out how much mouthwash you're supposed to use every single time and it's two and a half teaspoons. So with the water pick, if you've never used one before, has a container that you fill up with water and again I recommend that you use lukewarm water so I fill it up about halfway you really don't need that much and then just put it back in here and put this lid down. On the water pick, you have the power button here and this button where you can choose if you want to floss or if you want to massage the gums. I never use the massage, I just use the floss. This is not a replacement for floss, by the way. It's really important that you do floss your teeth. I just like to use the water pick to help me to massage the gums and make sure that every single morsel of food is out of my teeth. Over here on the bottom is a dial and that determines the strength at which the water flow comes out of the water pick. So I like to keep it at five, any more than that, and it'll seriously hurt my gums. Here is the on and off to allow the water to come out of the spout. And this is a lever that you push up to release so that you can properly dry it or somebody else can use theirs. I'm gonna plug it in first. What I like to do is I like to just hold it in between my teeth and just go like that. It runs for a minute, so you do 30 seconds on the top and 30 seconds on the bottom. turn it off, make sure that you turn this off too. There are so many times my dad forgets to turn this off and I will go and use it after him, turn it on and it'll start shooting everywhere. And there are many times that it shot me in the face and see this, my dad also did that. And I have no idea how to fix that. Make sure you unplug it and then just dump the water out. I like to shake out the excess water. Not all the water is gonna come out, but I just don't like water sitting there. I really recommend getting a water pick. It's seriously changed the health of my mouth. Just like to wrap the wire around it and put it back. Now on to brushing my teeth. I use the Crest 3D White. I am kind of not into natural toothpastes. 
yet. I don't know when. Maybe if I move in with my fiance at some point. I'm a huge fan of Crest 3D white products because again, they do help me to whiten my teeth or at least brighten them really well. And if I were to switch to a natural toothpaste, I would want it to be a whitening one. So I gargle with my mouthwash and while I'm gargling for one minute straight, it tells you on the bottle to gargle for a minute straight. My mouthwash is also alcohol free, forgot to mention that. So while I'm gargling with my mouthwash, I will go in with my toothbrush and I will just scrub the grime off my retainers. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna pop my retainers back in. Just want to make sure that you rinse your retainer container. And that's it for my dental hygiene routine for the evening. One more thing, this is what I mentioned a million times in my videos. Use some kind of moisturizer or ointment. I love Aquaphor and put it around your mouth and on your lips. Brushing your teeth can be very drying to your lips. I just realized I never talked about my retainers. I had braces for two and a half years, many years ago. And I just learned recently that you pretty much have to wear retainers for the rest of your life, especially if you realize that your teeth start to hurt when you put your retainers in after not having them in for a while. One more thing about the mouthwash, you want to gargle with so much passion to really get it to work. It starts to foam up in your mouth as well. It can get a little bit weird and uncomfortable. Many times I have choked, but obviously you just stick to two and a half teaspoons. If it's a little too strong for you, if it's a little bit too much, just go down to two teaspoons. I honestly don't think it makes a difference. Share with me in the comments what your favorite dental hygiene product is. I would love to know. I love taking care of my teeth. I hope that came across in this video. I'm very high maintenance like that. It gives me so much confidence knowing that I have straight teeth teeth that my teeth are pretty bright they're not like white out white which is like fake looking and weird sometimes it's like so unrealistic but having them straight having them bright having a clean tongue it's very very important to me and it definitely affects my overall confidence which by the way if you haven't watched my last video it's how to build confidence or be confident in every single situation when you're an overthinker my theme for this month is building confidence and getting your body summer ready again with the whole confidence thing Thing. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below or you can catch it in my end screen. Subscribe to see more videos from me. I will love to see you guys come back. If you want to check out any other routine that I've done in the past, then I will link that playlist in the description box as well.